We've had great presidents of this church. Each one has guided us. His writings have stimulated us. His messages have inspired us to show us the way. We have those whom the Lord has provided. When our Heavenly Father established His church upon earth, that was a little stone that was cut out of the mountain without hands. And no matter what opposition may come, it will continue to grow and thrive for the blessing of mankind. The noblest aim in life is to strive to live to make other lives better and happier. That is the life of God. I love the Lord and desire to see His earthly kingdom prosper. And it is prospering. The gospel is rolling forth in a marvelous manner. And so I say to you young people today, remember your heritage and be loyal to that royal lineage that you have. Marriage is ordained of God. It is not merely a social custom. Without proper and successful marriage, one will never be exalted. We must become involved in civic affairs. We cannot do our duty and be idle spectators. My message to you today is to fear not, little flock. Life is wonderful, even in the hard times. I want to urge you to stand a little taller, to rise a little higher, to be a little better. You've been spoken to along these lines before. If you do not want to hear it again, you did not have to come today. We'll take a moment for any of you who would like to leave. <laughs> when you choose to follow Christ, you choose to be changed. And changed men and women can change the world. May we always be known as followers of Christ. If I could have the fondest wish of my heart, it would be that you could know who you really are. God lives. Jesus is the Christ. He stands at the head of his church. I so testify.